have sounded a little weird. What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. We really haven't driven the uh, old BBB here since we got it back from uh, Superstition when we took it out in the desert and yes, ended up breaking one of the CV axles, which would be obviously the passenger side one you're seeing right there. Good news is once we cut the CV axle out, um, you know, the truck is still drivable. You don't need the front CV axles as long as you don't completely pull that side apart to where your wheel falls off. And we're currently waiting on Zach, who unfortunately has the flu, so we're hoping you get better out there, buddy. Uh, but once Zach's feeling a little better, we're gonna throw the new axle on the truck as well as get Chris's truck fixed. But being that the old BBB here is still drivable, albeit a little bit uh, dirty still even after we washed it, so uh, Josh, if you're listening, this thing needs a full detail too, buddy. But anyways, today we're gonna be doing another modification to the BBB. And as you guys know, uh, when it comes to working with companies, I don't like to not have that personal relationship with a company. So today we're getting hand delivered a product and we're gonna be able to get an explanation from the company itself. So let's head over to the warehouse. Oh, looks like the boys have shown up. Look at this beast. What's up boys? How are you doing? Am I triple parked right now? Hold on, let me try and guess who this is right here. <laughs> Hey, you're good. That's like one and a quarter parking spots. <laughs> Dude, the wrap on this truck is so sick. You guys can see the embossed pedal commander up underneath the wrap, kind of like we did work for it on the Tahoe. So we've got Joe and Raul here from Pedal Commander who made the drive all the way down. I mean, kind of for me. We'll, we'll just say it was for me. <laughs> They've made the drive all the way down. Well, first of all, can we just talk about your guys' SEMA rig from uh, this past SEMA? Yeah. This thing is absolutely sick and you guys use it. And I know we were talking yeah. earlier about how you actually take this thing off road and how I think you're scaring him every time you take it driving. <laughs> or my yeah. media guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah, you go. Those guys yeah. got well, well, give scared. us a walk around. What's done to this thing? Uh, we did uh, Icon stage, uh, what, five, lift kit, so coil over conversion, Helwig bars, airbags, fat bumpers, all the KC lights, rack, throw our two-seater UTV Can-Am up on top of that thing, take that on trips with us. Uh, full wrap, embossed underlay. The wrap yeah. looks sick, yeah. the headlights look sick. I like how I like, I mean obviously your guys' colors are kind of the black and the gold. Yeah. So I like how everything just ties in real yeah. nice. I mean even down to the KCs on the, the, the lights up there. Oh, yeah. Everything just ties in real nice. I mean, I love the look. And then, you know, obviously you got to be a little crazy to drive trucks with can amps on racks. So, uh, give us a little, give us a little bit about that experience. How fun is that? Uh, it's definitely difficult sometimes. <laughs> Tightens you up a little bit. It's a little but sketchy. it's not too bad. You kind of, you know, you get up, get down. Going down is actually a lot more scarier in a sense. Gotcha. Going up, but is there uh, quite the increased body roll? With oh the yeah, this thing is. You got a lot of slide, so it's. Got to drive a lot safer, and then we got our 30 foot trailer that we pulled behind it with our race car. So that whole combo is pretty gnarly. Well, so you guys got airbags on here. You guys got some pretty big airbags. And then what are these? Glad 30 the X comps, the 40 inch 40s. Yeah, got 40s. And then I comp through the rims on there. So for a lot of you guys that like the more aggressive off road look versus the more show truckish look that we go for, I feel like this is gonna fit the bill for a lot of people. Especially keeping it rugged with the kind of the matte wrap with, I mean, I just love the black and gold combo. Like it's just such a good yeah, looking combo. Really well. Now, speaking of pedal commander, I, I noticed you've got a little, little something, oh, yeah. something right there. <laughs> what do we got there? So what we have here is a PC 65. Cause I believe your truck uses a PC 65. I sure hope so. Or this video is not going to make a whole lot of sense <laughs> today. So, all right. So we've got the PC 65. As you guys know, uh, Chris has been running a pedal commander on his truck for quite a while. And he's a big believer in it. And I mean, you guys probably saw that video we did a long time ago where we kind of like, I thought I broke his truck. Turns out I'm just stupid and didn't read the instructions on the pedal commander. <laughs> but uh, you guys have been blowing Chris up even to this day. I think that video came out like two years ago or something like that. And Chris still gets DMs about pedal commanders today. And I've even got some as well. But one thing is I don't have a lot of experience with them in a diesel vehicle. And I don't know anybody that personally has them in a diesel. Because obviously a diesel, you've got like kind of different parameters you're working with, right? So. This one works on a diesel. Yep. Now, one of the big misconceptions about Pedal Commander is it's a tuner. Right. It's not a tuner. Not a tuner. You are not getting horsepower gains. Nope. Not You're, a single power. Not a single horse. Not, a, not one horse. Not one no horse, horse torques. No. <laughs> so what exactly is a Pedal Commander doing? Basically what the Pedal Commander does is it takes the signal sent from your, when you step on your gas pedal, your gas pedal sends a signal to the ECU. Pedal Commander takes that signal, 
and it basically just multiplies it. How many times, Joe? Uh, about 10,000 times. About 10,000 times faster than your stock oh, cable. Oh, I love the sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> the, about 10,000 times faster than, than your stock cable would send it to your ECU. So, And since the pedal commander sends it right back through the stock cable, your ECU doesn't flag or doesn't leave a footprint um, mm. of any kind. So. so we're gonna install this today, but it basically plugs in right behind your pedal, correct? Yeah, right into your yeah. gas pedal sensor. There you go. It so takes about five minutes. You just let the ECU shut down. That way you don't throw any codes, nothing like that. It's a plug and play system, real simple. Now again, um, like I was saying, a lot of people have that misconception that this is a tuner. And like you said, you're not getting any horsepower gains, but what you're getting is that throttle responsiveness which if you can get essentially kind of like everybody's saying Tesla's the next greatest thing because you have instant throttle response on an electric vehicle, this is like similar-ish, right? Basically, yeah. So, so yeah, you get guys that have tunes that are, have horsepower gains through their mods, right? What Pedal Commander does gives you those gains, gives you your horsepower faster than your car is gonna give it to you. I mean, the simplest way put. Your car just won't be able to send the signal as fast. Your car won't give you your power as fast. Pedal Commander will give it to you faster. Now, if we're talking in terms of diesel, now you're running into turbo lag and a couple of other things. So what kind of, what happens on a diesel? So with the diesel side, when you're stepping with the Pedal Commander, it's, we're say we're giving you a 40% tip in. What we're doing is we're telling the throttle body and computer that you're already there, your boost is gonna start increasing faster. So it's gonna pick up a lot better. All right, well, I mean, we got a truck right there. You wanna, you wanna see if this thing works? So don't mind it sturdy. We did uh, play with it in the dirt a little bit. Nice. All right, so in the box, you're just getting a few things. You got some zip ties, some Velcro, alcohol wipes, so you can clean off the dash, put it wherever you like. And then, of course, pedal commander unit. So you're taking direct out of the gas pedal and you're plugging right into it. So is this the is this the Bluetooth one? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, dang, you guys so are all hooked up. Yeah, be able to use a right from your phone. So it'd be pretty just don't do it while... Do while not, on. do not change the modes while your foot is on the gas pedal. Yeah, apparently that's what we did wrong with Chris's truck. So it threw off his check engine light, which did go off after however many key cycles it takes to, to make that go off. So lesson learned. And also he's mount, he's going to mount it. You have everything to mount, mount it, but the Bluetooth feature just lets you, you can tuck it. If you have a show truck and you don't want anything on your dash gotcha. or for whatever reason, you just like using your phone, mount, your, you know, hang your phone in there, uh, hide the unit and then just use the Bluetooth app to control it anytime you want. So that is a really nice feature because the one thing about pedal commanders is if you've ever driven one turned all the way up, it's not exactly something you want to hand over to somebody. Like you don't want to give them the keys to your vehicle if you've if they've never driven it turned all the way up because uh, that throttle becomes very, very touchy. So you have, how many settings are on this thing? Uh, there's four, uh, four main modes and each mode has eight variable settings. You can go increase four, you can decrease four. So total it has 36 settings with the stock settings included. Gotcha. So. Typically, you know, if you're gonna hand this truck over to somebody or a valet or something like that, like you wanna set it down to a more milder uh, response time. Being that it's tucked up underneath your dash or depending on if you mount it on your dash, like having that Bluetooth availability is nice because unlike certain things like tunes, sometimes you're not really changing your tunes very often, but this is something I feel like you'd be changing more. That's it, it's already installed? Yeah, we'll go and we'll see. Uh, you got your keys with you? Yeah. Set the demo. Where your, your basic function sets your power, that's gonna change your modes. City Sport Sport Plus, and then you're going to be able to increase, decrease the throttle response using these. Gotcha. You're using tap on the phone, it's just right there for you. If you go into eco mode, press and hold for three seconds, and it'll light up because that's such a huge decrease. So, it's eco mode, you're basically delaying the throttle response, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. So, when you change into that, a lot of that's traction control, you know, depending on where you're at, what you're doing. You use gotcha. That uh, but because they decrease so much, that three seconds is just safety feature. All right, so since the install went so quick, we're going to go now for a little test drive, and I'm assuming we're going to try it out in a few different modes here for you guys. Well, I mean, since we got it in stock right now, we'll just kind of give a little, little run in stock. So this truck, as you guys know, is uh, substantially slower than my last Silverado for some reason. I don't know what it is, something with the tuning, and it just doesn't have that like quick takeoff like I wished, like my old one did. So hopefully, let's see what uh, Pedal Commander can do here. So what do we do? What should we do first here, setting wise? Not test out, say city so, uh, or sport. Go to the like standard in like the F two fifties or what we're running. We're in city plus two to sport plus two in that range. All right, so we'll go. So, si let's try city bigger, plus two. Yeah, or should we go sport plus two? Is that what you're go, saying? Yeah, go sport plus two. So All right. Like so works. you guys can see each one's got its own setting. And then you can adjust each setting there. So we'll go sport. We'll try plus two. 
and then it's just instant, right? Like we're good to go. Yeah, you're good. My foot wasn't on the throttle this time, so we're good. No check <laughs> engine lights. All right, well, let's see how she does. I mean, you can already feel like when you just barely tap the throttle, mm -hmm. there's that like jump that it has. So yeah, you can definitely, just barely getting on the throttle, like you feel it wanting to jump. Which if you guys know in a truck this big and this heavy, like they don't typically want to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. What should we do? You can max it out and see how you feel. You want to go? Sport plus plus four. Sport plus plus four. All right. <laughs> Are you ready for this? You hold I, on? I got my seatbelt <laughs> on. <laughs> All right, well, we'll wait till this car goes out. We'll just go from a dead stop here. It's like a weird, like, you don't expect. Like, so if you guys have driven a diesel, like there, there's like a spot in that pedal that mm -hmm. does nothing. Well, now it does something. <laughs> <laughs> like you can just feel like, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's just barely me tapping the throttle and the truck like jumps. Fun. Right? Any lag coming out? No, I mean, Your turbo lag, anything so like that. So you feel when you get, you feel that jump and then you feel the turbo like starting to do its mm -hmm. thing. So I feel like it's breaking up that little gap that you had between throttle push to the uh, the turbo doing its thing. So I feel like this is bridging that gap. So really like what you want to find is what's going to be most comfortable for how your style of drive is. You know what I mean? Right. That way it's, you're getting your tip in point and you're driving every day. And if you are, you know, in this vehicle. Right where it's most comfortable for you to be out, you know, get out in front of people or whatever it is you're trying to do or keep with it. Well, that's what I like about having so many different settings is you can really tailor it to yourself. Mm. And then again, if you go somewhere where you just want to like full send it, it's oh, yeah. super easy just to crank up. So <laughs> driving it in a gas vehicle and driving it in a diesel, what would you say is the biggest difference? I feel like it's kind of a given that a gas vehicle has that quicker takeoff depending mm -hmm. on what it is because diesels you're dealing with that turbo. So unless you have like a, a twin turbo setup or something that can like spool your mm -hmm. up faster, um, you're kind of dealing with that. So being that this isn't a tuner tuner, what I feel like it's doing is it's taking out that that in between mm -hmm. lag time. I feel like gas vehicle, it's like more of that electric vehicle feel. Mm -hmm. And then this one, I feel like you're bridging that gap, you're which diesels cured. are missing. It's nice and touchy now. Can we just go around like this the whole time? You guys are probably hating me. But <laughs> if I was in somebody's vehicle and they did this, I would hate me. <laughs> if you're getting car sick in the first 10 seconds. The F-250, we keep it at like, what? Usually we try to, we keep it around city plus two. Seems to be a pretty good like daily driver sweet spot, what we do. Gotcha. City plus four it is. Like, that's what <laughs> yeah, it is the one thing. If you are like a jerky driver, you'll want to like dial it down a little bit. Cause any little, Yeah, see, I feel like this is more, what do we do, city plus four? Mm -hmm. yeah. City plus four feels like you have that whole range. Yeah. Like, it feels like you're building. Whereas the other ones, it comes in so hard, then there's a, a little delay for the turbo, and then it kicks back in. City plus four seems like, this might be my spot right here. <laughs> yeah, I think city plus four. This is our ticket, boys. <laughs> we got it. So, we just got back, and yeah, I mean, the, the proof is kind of in the pudding. Like I said earlier, if you guys are looking for a tuner, this is not a tuner. If you guys are looking to get rid of that throttle response lag, you almost have to drive one like to know, to know you know, yeah. it's, it's hard to to really gauge it without driving one. Especially if you get in a gas vehicle and like just crank every parameter you can, it's insane how like almost sketchy it is driving. If you're thinking about getting an intake and exhaust to, to boost your car up, you know, you just got a car, you want to get intake and exhaust, just try to not do that and just try the pedal commander you'll get the feeling you're looking for i guarantee it well and that's the one thing that we had talked about is like it's more that feeling yeah everybody's looking for that little bit more feeling and as we found out most cold air intakes are actually worse for your vehicle anyway because right. the depending on what piping you use it's heating it up so it ends up decreasing even though they promise horsepower gains but if you're just looking for that little extra and then the good thing is anybody can do it you guys all know i ain't no qualified mechanic but i feel like after watching joe over here install it i feel like i could do it now and i mean what's the, what's the worst that could happen if you try it you know just send it back there you go and send see it back. that's what i like it's a company that'll stand behind their product order one <laughs> take it for 30 days you don't like it within 30 days send it right back no problem there you go We'll find someone else that has some fun with it though, I guarantee you. <laughs> well, and now the cool thing is they don't obviously just do trucks and cars anymore. They're moving into the UTV market, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, Can-Ams, Razors, 
um, slingshots, Rikers. The heck's guys, a Riker? Riker's one of those three wheeled <laughs> motorcycle things. I'm not too familiar with. Oh, them, but I know is we it that like super like retro looking one? Yeah. Like the two wheels in front. Two wheels in front. In the back. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are in the market and you want to check out a pedal commander, where are the best places to buy? Well, honestly, you can find it online at Amazon, Joe. Direct right on the website. Any of our retailers, Trans, Premier, Turn 14 for those guys. Any stores, Off Road Warehouse actually. If you're in San Diego, go to Off Road Warehouse. Ask Mike for it. He'll get you set up. Can, can we give a shout out on how like mine showed up? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So on our way out of here, we didn't yet have the specs for Ryan's truck. So we were already on the road. We were about an hour away from home. Uh, so we said, we have to have somebody in San Diego. We got Off-Road Warehouse in San Diego that sells pedal commanders. So we stopped by the homeboy Mike over there at uh, ORW was happy to help out and uh, save the day. We were gonna mail Ryan his <laughs> unit. Then this video wouldn't have happened. So. Thanks, Mike, over at ROW. Thanks, ORW. Yeah, no, that definitely definitely makes the video a lot better when we have a product, right? Yeah, right? It helps. In case you guys don't know, I mean, Pedal Commander is partnered up with a lot of race teams now. You guys are partnered up with Wilkie, right? Yeah. So, obviously, you guys know Blake Wilkie. I mean, he's kind of blown up over the internet for his crazy crap that he does off-road and on-road. You know, these guys are really blown up, and I think in the last, what, two years or whatever, you guys have kind of just, like, yeah. skyrocketed, right? Yeah, oh, a lot of people yeah. are starting to understand what it is, you know, that it's sensor technology in a sense. People don't really get, so they think it's, I'll just step in my gas pedal faster or something like that or harder, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Can we just talk about that being one of my favorite comments that I see on all pedal commander it's, things? It's is, I'll just I'll just press the gas, pe gas pedal harder. And it's like, you don't think we've all been doing that for years? Like, you can only press it so fast and so hard, like... And you're talking about 10,000 times faster than the yeah. factory sensor, right? Is yeah. that what you're saying? So, so it's like a gas pedal is 50 milliamp to 500 milliamp. And say it gets sand, you know, at a second and a half to be able to open up your throttle body, whatever it is, your lag on your, your truck. Right. So we send it 10,000 times faster. We go up to 98% basically faster, basically back to a mechanical pull system. Is gotcha. what we're trying to go for, so like a carbureted system, if you ever driven that stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure what type of drugs you need to get your foot <laughs> to crank out 10,000 times faster than it does, but... Uh, well, I'll tell you what it is. People that say, just step on your... I laugh every time I read it, too, because we get it quite a bit. And when you say, I'm going to step on my gas pedal faster, you may be right in the throttle cable world. Gotcha. Not in anything that doesn't have a throttle cable. Well, if that's the problem now, is cable, everything's yeah, computers. Everything now is wire in the past couple of years a lot more people found out that it really works basically because we've tried to get out there in front of people more try to demo the unit try to get people to just try it because yeah when you hear about it it's easy to be like oh that's just another bolt-on or another right. plug-and-play so hopefully we got some more stuff in the works with pedal commander i'm stoked to have a unit on my truck huge thank you to the boys from pedal commander for coming down but as always thank you guys so much for watching if you have not subscribed already please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content don't forget to give this video a like aka a thumbs up don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life you got to be willing to work for it i know you've been watching my videos uh, do you know how to end the video how does he end the videos? I have no idea. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you guys don't know how the videos end? You just end? did it. Well, there's a last part, and the new people in the video always do it. What do they do? I have no idea. Man, you've been sitting in a hotel room all last night. You could have been watching some videos and studying up on this. I should have put down the beer can, man. Jeez. <laughs> all right, we got to get the outro like to come out. So down. we got to say, roll the outro. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah.